We're here today in the LaunchVic office chatting with Peter Goldsworthy, the GM of Startups, about the 30 by 30 program. We hope that this information session helps those scale-up founders who have not yet submitted an EOI to register their interest. So, Pete, what has the response been like going forward? Yeah, it's been fantastic. I've had a lot of conversations with founders uh, and it's pretty clear that the challenges that they face when they raise their Series A or Series B and all those support teams, the HR, ops and finance, they're really stretched. Uh, and so the way of working and their systems and processes that help them scale are not there yet. So this program really resonates uh, and it's exciting to see. Great. Let's go through some common questions that have come up so far. So what happens if I'm a founder and I don't have an HR, a finance and an ops person? I don't have those three people. Can I still apply? Yeah, you can. Uh, definitely can. Uh, and this is something that we've seen come through is that uh, as a uh, as a scale up, you might have just become a scale up and you still might not have all of those seats filled. And that's perfectly fine. Of course, you have someone who's looking after you know those roles. You can't not have a finance uh, function. Uh, and so what we're really looking for is to make sure that it's not the CEO founder doing all three of those plus growth, plus product and everything else that they do. So uh, we're just looking for at least one leader in and you know, who's looking after and taking care of some of those functions. We also have seen that uh, the roles and the titles might be a little bit different. It might not be a head of ops. It could be a chief of staff and that's perfectly fine too. So you could have two people. You don't have to have three. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. So what will the schedule look like and what happens if people are traveling or if they're not available? How, how will that work? Yeah, we're really conscious of this. We know that as a scale up, they're really busy. Uh, and so we want to make sure that the schedule works uh, for all of the, uh, all of the scale ups come through. Uh, and what we've heard so far is that condensing it the two days a month to be condensed uh, in the one week, you know, maybe even back to back days will be easier on the schedule uh, so that instead of doing it and spreading it out over, say, uh, each week, three hours, just doing it all in two days. So that can be blocked off and then they can plan the rest of their month around that. Okay. Um, and the mentors, who, who, who will they be? What type of people will they be? Yeah, we've had a great response from mentors as well. Um, some outreach that have come through after the program has gone live. Uh, these are not uh, famous founder types. These are the people who have supported the founders of Unicorns, go from that 50 employees up to 500. And, you know, there's some local uh, unicorn companies and international that these mentors are coming from. Uh, and so we're really excited to bring them through and have them be in the room with our 10 scale up HR ops and finance leaders. Sounds amazing. Yeah. So if I'm a founder and I'm interested, what, what's the next step? Yeah, so the EOI period ends on the 14th next Monday at 5 p.m. Uh, so we hope that all the scale-ups in Victoria can submit an EOI. You can find that on our website, launchvic.org. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can reach out. Um, there is an office hours book in there on the website as well. So feel free. Fantastic. Thanks, Pete. That's been really interesting. Thank Thanks you. for your time.